Hello and welcome to the first video of the second part of our Java course. In these series of videos we're going to be going through the fundamentals of Java. In this video we're going to be looking at the key point of the main Java method. Before we look at the code I want you to remember four key points that you must remember from this video. Number one, the main method in Java is the starting point. It is the method that tells Java where to execute or which code to execute first. So you need to remember the signature of the main is the starting point. Number two, because Java is an object oriented language, everything must be in a class. So in each of the code, in each file, you're looking for this keyword class and then you're looking for the main method. Number three, in between any code or when you want to write any code you need to put it between two curly brackets and number four when you finish with the code you need to end it with a semicolon these are the four points what we're going to do now is look up some code and ask you to identify mistakes or what is the code supposed to be doing okay so let's model the code first so remember we have four things that we need to remember when looking at Java code and the main method. So the first thing is, does it have a main method? Yes, so we know that when we execute this code, this is the first thing that will be executed. It's the starting point. Does it have a class? Yes, it's. we've got the class here and we have the name of the class. So we know what the name of it is. Does it have the curly brackets? Well, we have the curly brackets to close off the class and we also have the curly brackets to um, close off the method. So we have the curly brackets. Does it have the semicolon? Well, this is the only code that we're doing in our program, and afterwards we have the semicolon. So there are the four points that you need to remember. Now I'm going to go leave it to you to answer some questions some, for some other code. OK, so now it's over to you. So this is some code here. What I would like you to do is, from that previous slide, I want you to answer these questions. So hopefully you've paused the video and you've worked them out. So will this code work? No, it will not. Uh, if the code doesn't work, why not? What we're doing here is we're missing that class that we have to wrap all of our code in. So we don't have that class. How could you get the code to work? Well, you can add that public class and the name of it into the code. Now what I want you to do is try and do the same thing for the second, third and fourth. So stop the video and see if you can answer all of the questions. So hopefully you've stopped the video and let's look at the answer. So the second code will not work because what's happened is we don't have our main method. What we've done is we've changed that. Number three, what's wrong with this? Well. We've got the curly brackets for one of them, but we're missing the second curly bracket. So there will be an error here. So we need to add in the second curly bracket to make that work. Number four, um, the, uh, the problem here is we're missing that semicolon. So to make that work, we need to add that in. Before we move on, what I would like you to do is, why do you think this second example is different from all of the others? Well, the reason, and I hopefully you got it, is that if you see all of the others, for example, there and there, and the first one, this will produce an error because there is a problem. Here, there is no problem. You can still run this, and you can still have this start as your method name. But without that main method, we will not have an entry point into our code, so nothing will start. We will have all this code, but nothing will start. In the next video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking a little bit more about this main signature, and we're going to be understanding what each of these words do and what do they mean. However, for this video, what I would like you to do is have a think about how well you got the knowledge from this. So can you answer this? What does the main method do? What's the point of it? Number two, what were those four key words that you have to remember when dealing with that main method? And number three, 
Um, can you tell me some other new code that you learned today and can you explain what it does? So as always, if you found this video useful, subscribe or like. And if you could answer the uh, last question, leave a comment below. So thank you and see you in the next video.